You get me. No, I really don't get you. Especially you, Netflix. I do not know how you approve shit like this. Hey there, everybody. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review You Get Me. So, You Get Me is directed by Brent Bonacorso, and the film stars Houston Sage and Bella Thorne. So, You Get Me tells the story of this guy named Tyler who loves his girlfriend, Allie, played by Houston Sage. When they go to this party, they get into a fight and they automatically break up. So, at this party, Tyler runs into this very attractive girl named Holly. Tyler and Holly, they have a one night stand. And after that night, let's just say that Holly is obsessed with Tyler now. So, You Get Me is a film that I thought looked really dumb when I watched the trailer for this film. It was like, I believe, a week before it was coming to Netflix. But I try to give as many of these movies a chance as possible when it comes to Netflix. I've been really trying to see more Netflix movies lately. And, you know, I do like House and Sage as an actress, and I do like Bella Thorne. I was really hoping to see if maybe You Get Me could actually be better than what the trailer is telling me. No. Hell no. Hell fucking no. Wow, Netflix. Holy crap. Holy crap, this movie is god awful. And the thing that's weird about You Get Me is I feel like I'm watching a typical generic teenage movie. Like it feels like a movie that's made for teenagers, yet it's TVMA. Yes, you can argue that teenagers can watch this movie without their parents knowing. Yes, you can make that argument since it is a Netflix movie after all. But it just feels so weird that a movie that feels like your typical teenager movie is actually an adult movie. I will say that Houston Sage, although yes, she really overreacts at times, I'll say that, for the most part, I thought she actually was pretty good. I mean, considering the script she's given, for the most part, she actually is not that bad. And I feel like she's the only actress that's actually, for the most part, granted, good. Everyone else, I'll get to that later. The soundtrack for this film, I have to say, is actually really good. It does feel out of place, granted, in a film like this. I don't know if the director was trying to be Nicholas Winding Refn when it comes to this soundtrack, especially for this being a generic teen movie. It did feel weird, but granted, I will still say the soundtrack is still very well done. As horrible as this movie is, the cinematography is amazing. Holy crap, the cinematography in this film is so well shot. I'd even say it's some of the best cinematography I've seen this year. I would actually go that far. The cinematography in this movie is so well lit. And it's so baffling that a movie this bad has cinematography that looks this good. It is utterly amazing how colorful and how professionally lit the cinematography and you get me is. It looks tremendous. And I will say as far as Brent's direction goes, it's not that bad really to be honest because the camera work in You Get Me, like I said, granted, as bad as the movie is, the camera work is actually not that bad. I thought there were some interesting techniques that this director used to really get us into this world. And yeah, that's about it for good things. Wow, okay. So what made me absolutely hate You Get Me? Okay, first off, Already from the beginning, the movie was 
already gave me a warning sign that I was not in for a good movie because the setup of this movie even was really bad. And sometimes even when I do watch a bad movie, at least the setup could somehow intrigue me a little bit. Not with you get me. The setup itself was already bad. Tyler and Allie, they love each other. Tyler finds Allie to be this absolutely perfect girl. And then they go to this party and they automatically break up and I just find it so funny that just because he broke up with Allie like immediately because of a fight, he just says, well, you know what, fuck it. I am just going to go ahead and fuck this very sexy girl right here. And I mean, granted, yes, I'm not going to deny Bella Thorne is a very attractive young woman, but I just find it funny that the minute that he and Allie break up, he has this one night stand with Bella Thorne. And then, of course, Bella Thorne is very obsessed with him from there. She is very horny. She just wants to she wants to really get close to Tyler. And you want to know the stupid thing about this movie? The following day at school, Tyler and Allie, they get back together. This, this fucking movie, I swear, this movie is already illogical. From the beginning. God. And then of course Holly, the horny girl that she is, now she wants to do everything she can to make sure that Allie is no longer in the picture because she really wants Tyler to herself. Like I said, Halston Sage does overreact at times for sure, but most of the movie I actually felt like she was good at least, but everyone else gives such unwatchable performance performances. Taylor John Smith as Tyler, he's really bad here. He's incredibly forced and I love how this movie makes you want to feel bad for him. Like this movie really wants you to fear for Tyler's life because of how frightening and out of control Holly is going. Like this girl is crazy she's really crazy and this movie makes you want to fear for him yet why should i give a shit about a character that breaks up with his girlfriend at a party after some argument then has sex with a random girl immediately and then just gets back together with his girlfriend the next day why should i give a shit about a back stabbing character and Bella Thorne like I said I do like Bella Thorne I do I didn't think Shake It Up was that good of a show but I'll admit she probably was my favorite thing about Shake It Up I did think she was actually pretty good in that show and there's a couple of movies I've seen of her where she wasn't that bad but Wow, Bella Thorne really drops the ball here. This is a horrible performance by her. She tries so hard to be so scary because she plays a stalker and she really tries so hard to be scary. Like she's delivering her lines as if we're supposed to be fearing Bella Thorne. Like, oh my God, Bella Thorne is so terrifying. And it doesn't work because she's trying so hard hard to be scary when it's really not scary at all. It's honestly just more unwatchable because of how she delivers her lines, her facial expressions, her stalker facial expressions. Wow, could they not be any more forced. And as for everyone else in this film, they honestly are so bad. The writing, and you get me, just I, I honestly don't know what to say about the writing because <clears throat> where they go with this entire movie is so unbelievable that I literally have no words for it. This movie just screams fuck logic and it just keeps going and going and going until the very end. And this movie, when it starts off, it starts off as being this cliched teen movie, and then it becomes a teen stalker movie, and then when you get to the third act, it becomes a full-on horror movie.
what in the living hell am I actually watching? This movie is just beyond stupid. And you're supposed to care for these characters, but none of these characters really are likable. Not even Houston Sage's character. Like I said, she's good, but her character, even she is unlikable. It's hard to latch on to any of these characters. It's hard to get behind any of these characters because they're not likable, they're annoying, they're stupid, they're mean-spirited, and there's not really a lot of personalities to these characters either. I find it funny that there's a pool that has different colors. There's many shots of the swimming pool. And let me just say this, that swimming pool has more personality than any of these fucking characters in this film. The best character in You Get Me is a fucking swimming pool. A fucking swimming pool. And then I just said earlier how the third act becomes a full-on horror film. And wow, as if the movie wasn't ridiculous enough, it gets even more ridiculous from that third act. And there's one moment without spoiling anything. Let's just say there are these characters that are right by the swimming pool, actually, in the third act. Something happens in that moment. And it was so bad that I actually freaking laughed. And I'll say that about the movie. There are a few times, only a few times, maybe three times in total, where this movie gets so ridiculous and so bad that it actually made me unintentionally laugh. That one moment in the third act being possibly the funniest moment in the movie. And before I even forget, there's even times where this film does feel like a music video. And it makes sense why, because the director of this movie, fun fact, actually directed the Katy Perry music video unconditionally. I found that information interesting, by the way, because I actually do like Katy Perry, but yeah, it makes sense why this movie feels like a music video at times. Overall, You Get Me is a generic teen movie, and it's probably one of the worst teen movies I've seen in a while. And it's ironic how it feels like a teen movie, yet it's a fucking TVMA film. In other words, it's an R-rated film. But it's what you would predict a teen movie would be. It's what you would predict a stalker movie would be. It's a very predictable film. There's no surprises. The turns that this film takes is so stupid. It's so out of nowhere. The movie tries so hard to be so scary and so intense and so suspenseful when I felt none of that and the movie gets so ridiculous to the point where I actually did get a few good laughs out of it but honestly besides those few times where I did get a few good laughs I was really pissed off for the majority of this movie it's only an hour and 29 minutes thank god it's actually a short movie so I didn't have to suffer that long but it's still a horrible movie and it's weird filmmaking wise it's not that bad really but as far as the script the execution the characters it is truly awful you get me gets one out of four stars so you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about You Get Me. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.